Hey guys, it's Matt here at VD, and we're here today to talk about the 68 RFE. More specifically, some of the cross leaks that we saw inside these things during the R&D process. So at stock horsepower levels, the 68 RFE is a fairly reliable transmission, but as soon as you guys start cranking up the horsepower levels, there's definitely some areas that need to be addressed. Once we added clutches and started cranking up the line pressure in these things, we found some areas of high wear and some pretty big cross leaks inside these things. Uh, in order for us to determine where these leaks were happening, what we did is we installed digital sensors into the ports in the bottom of the valve body. And we also installed some pressure sensitive paper between the uh, separator plate and the casting house. So there were three main areas of cross leaks inside these transmissions that we were focused on. First was the SSV bore. Okay, if this guy leaks, what you're gonna see is PO871 codes, and potentially it'll leak enough into that overdrive circuit to drag the clutches when they shouldn't be applied. Uh, second area of leaks was between the separator plate and the casting channels. So we were seeing some cross leaks inside of here. And the third area that we were seeing some pretty big leaks inside this thing, was the TCC limit valve. So if this guy is worn out, what you're gonna see is some TCC slip codes. Uh, you may see a chatter on apply, obviously some premature wear, and you may even see these things dragging as you come up to the stop light in the morning when it's cold, uh, when it's not supposed to be applied. So initially the fix for the SSV bore was to remount the bore and install the oversized valves from Sonex. Unfortunately, the surface finish of the bore wasn't as good as stock, and what we found is that after a year or two of hard use, you're back to square one with the SSV bore. Fortunately, in 2010, Chrysler released new hard anodized valve bodies for the 68 RFE. This substantially reduced wear inside the SSV bore and increased the service life. All of our 68 RFE transmissions that go out of here come with a new hard anodized valve body. The second area of leaks we were seeing inside the valve body was between the casting channels and the separator plate. We used pressure sensitive paper in order to be able to determine exactly where these leaks were coming from. In order to be able to fix this, what we tried was uh, we flat sanded the halves, uh, we changed or overrode solenoid control, uh, we changed the surface of the separator plate, um, we changed the tension or the torque on the fasteners and we also tried a, a many different combinations of the above. Finally, we laser cut some gaskets for the valve body, installed some pressure sensitive paper and found that we had a nice even seal across the entire valve body. At 250 PSI, we were able to drop the leakage into the overdrive circuit from 16 PSI all the way down to five PSI. So no more dragging overdrive clutches when they should be overrunning. So finally, the third leak that we were seeing inside these things was the TCC limit valve. So right here, the fix for that comes from Sonix as well. And what you do is you remote the bore, you install this new wear sleeve, and then you actually get a new spring and valve inside of there. So replaces all the wear components inside is a really good fix and we haven't seen any issues with repaired pumps that we've done. So how can you stop cross leaks from taking down your 68? Well, if you guys have already burnt your clutches or had your tranny go down, we offer a complete 68 RFE comes with the um, control module, comes with a converter, so basically you just bolt it in and, and go. Um, below that we have build-it kits, um, so for the guy who wants to do it himself, we've got build-it kits with all the hard parts, comes with the gaskets and seals to do the valve body, uh, comes with all the internal hard part upgrades that we have, and the pressure control module. So if you want to build it yourself, we've got the build-it kit for you. And below that we've got two plate kits, we've got the Protec 68 pressure control kit, comes with the gaskets, the two gaskets, the plate, the seals, and the pan gasket to install it. That one comes with our uh, pressure control module. Uh, and then we have the plate kit, the Protec 68 plate kit. And that comes with the two gaskets, the plate, the seals to install it, and the pan gasket. Any of you guys uh, that are using EFI tunes or h and uh, Race Me, any of the other 68 RFE pressure tune software, uh, you can get the plate kit and use that stuff. Uh, if you're going to use the Protec 68 pressure control kit, you're going to be using our control module which dynamically controls pressure based on engine load or boost. So get those cross leaks fixed up and keep your 68 RFE on the road.